Hey guys, welcome to this video. My name is John Watts. I want to talk to you about what do you do if your landlord is harassing you to try to get you to leave the apartment or the house. So what's happened is a lot of landlords have a federally backed type of loan and there are some restrictions put on them in terms of evicting people. So in other words, if they're getting the benefit of maybe a forbearance with their federal loan, then they may not be able to just go kick you out if you're not able to make your rent payment. But here's what we're seeing. And there was a recent article, I think it was maybe NPR talking about what landlords are doing is they don't like that. And so they're like shutting off utilities. They are, um, you know, calling DHR saying, we think that children are being abused in here. Just whatever they can think of to try to drive you crazy so that you leave. Well, the truth is, if you have a proper lease, then that landlord has to follow the rules. So some landlords are saying, you know what, you haven't paid a payment in a couple months, and I know federal law says you can do that, but I'm going to go in there and change the locks and drag all your stuff out. Well, when that happens, you need to sue that landlord with just an unbelievable, overwhelming lawsuit. They need to be absolutely barbecued for doing that. They shut off the utilities, okay? They cut off the water, and they're doing that to punish you. Like, hey, you know, if you're not going to pay the rent, then don't expect to have running water. Don't expect to have air conditioner. You know, it's in the middle of June. You need to hammer them for that. And sometimes what we're seeing is they do this, and then they're coming after you with a debt collector for money damages, or they're suing you to evict you and to get money damages. They have no right to do that. And again, this is not every landlord, but a lot of landlords are subject to the CARES Act. We've talked about that in other videos where there's, in essence, a moratorium on evictions. And so if they're violating the law, then you need to look at suing them for that. You may have rights under your state landlord tenant act. The company doing this to you may be considered a debt collector. They may have a collection lawyer doing this. They're considered a debt collector. They may hire an outside party to come in and harass you. Again, they may be considered a debt collector if they have no legal right to evict you. And, and then you may just have some other laws in your state that prohibit them from doing things like shutting off your water, your power, changing the locks on your door when they don't have a court order allowing that. So definitely, if you're dealing with this, get with a consumer lawyer. You can find various consumer lawyers in your state. You can even talk to legal aid. Those guys have a lot of experience with landlord tenant. If you're in Alabama, feel free to get with me. But point is get with a lawyer that can help you because you may have a very good lawsuit against that landlord or other people. And at sort of the minimum, you may be able to just get them to stop doing that sort of nonsense. It's crazy enough. We're in COVID-19, you know, economic crisis. And now I've got some crazy landlord who's changing the locks on my door or, you know, parking cars in my driveway to, to block me or having people bang on my door, tell me I have to get out of that. Like, I don't need that going on and you don't need that going on. So definitely take action on that. And hopefully we can get these landlords to get back in line. You know, just one last thing I'll say. You may have seen some news articles where landlords were accessing the, I think it's an IRS website, to see if you got your stimulus check. Now they have to promise that, they're, that they are you, okay? But they're lying to do that. Hey, those are great lawsuits, okay? They don't need to be doing that. They don't need to be harassing you about, well, where's your stimulus check? Oh, I know you got a stimulus check, so you better pay me before you buy groceries. No, you can spend your money how you want, and if they're prohibited from evicting you, then they're prohibited from evicting you, whether you got a dollar in your bank account or $100,000 in your bank account. So definitely take action on that. And appreciate you watching this video. And check out some of our other videos. You can also subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye-bye.